Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another Ranch and Pants episode of Chris Level Chat, our friends. And you remember the other day we did that. Yes, the uh, the beef hot pot from uh, Sainsbury's, the Stamford Street. And it was alright. Don't get me wrong, it was alright and it was 90 pence. So uh, what I thought I'd do, because you can see behind me, I've got a load of gear. I've got the price of it, I've jotted it down, I've added it up, I don't know how many potatoes I'm using yet, I don't know how many uh, onions I'm using that. I'm probably going to use all the carrots, I'm going to use all the mince, so, uh, oh, and I won't use all the gravy granules, if any. But yeah, I'm making my own mince beef hot pot. So there are the ingredients or the products that I'm going to use. Uh, I went in Morrison's. Now, uh, hang on, I forgot something. Uh, but apart from these, peas uh, left over from the uh, from the last of what well, I did. What did I do last? I really should do my friggin' homework here, shouldn't I? Uh, the honey mustard chicken. So I used 35 pence of a 70, uh, of a 55p bag, so 25p for peas, yeah? <coughs> Mince was £1.79. Uh, the cooking bacon, uh, what's left of it is 50p. Because I'm going to put bacon in it as well, sod it. Uh, pepper I already had, garlic I already had. Gravy granules were 32 pence. Why have I got three bovril? I'm using three bovril. Yeah, fuck it, let's use three bovril. Uh, the bovril I already had, the garlic I already had. Uh, the potatoes were £1.29, but I won't be using all them. Uh, what else? Uh, carrots, 35p. Yep. Fresh carrots. It was cheaper to buy carrots than tin carrots. Weird, isn't it? Uh, that's a bit, basically. So uh, I'll get it all knocked up, cut up what I need to cut up. Then we'll start cooking. And at the end, I'll tell you how much each plate is worth. Right in our pan there, we have... Some good old lard. Ooh. Good stuff. Give it flavour. Do you know what I mean? Beef lard for a beef dinner. And I've got a mountain of onions there. I haven't finished yet, by the way. I've cut half of that bag of onions up. Because there's five of us. I want to fill this up. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know what I mean? The dearest part of any meal is the meat. The protein. So... Oop, scare pee. So sometimes you gotta you gotta pack it out with other things. I'm packing it out with onions, I'm packing it out with uh I'm putting bacon in there which was cheap, which sort of a little bit of protein, and some carrots. Uh, I'm not gonna put much salt in it because I've got bovril, I've got gravy granules, and I'm using the bacon as well. So uh the bacon will be the next thing I chop and the next thing going in this pan. I've chopped up the bacon and that is now going in so it's going to be quite meaty do you know what I mean uh, as well as oniony and carroty I've got some mincy I'm going to put the mince in next by the way I'll brown the mince up in the onions and the and the uh, and the bacon this is why yeah I've not added any salt I don't think I'll be adding I can all I might add salt at the end but right now I'm not adding salt because like I said, that bacon's got a load of salt in it. The bovril's going to have salt in it. The gravy granules are going to have salt in it. The one thing I am going to add to this once the uh, meat is in and the carrots is a good handful of black pepper. What shall I put in next? Yeah, meat next. Time for the mince, people. It, look, it is boiling that. It is bubbling there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe I should have put the mince in sooner. I don't know. But end of the day, it's a budget meal that everyone can eat, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'll break that mince up. Get it all cooked off. 
don't forget, it's an 80, it's an 80 20 mince as well, so there's going to be a bit of fat come off this as well. In with the lard. It's going to be quite, it's not going to be quite that healthy this meal, but do you know what? The temperature has dropped. No one could afford to put their eating on. So this is a proper winter warmer. Even though it's going to cost 16 million pounds to cook on the oven and in uh, on the hob and in the oven. Yep, because I'm going to put this in the oven eventually. With the potatoes on top, cut nice and thin. So it all cooks and the, the potatoes soften or crisp. I'm not really that bothered. But uh, I'll bat on here and uh, I'll be back with the, car the carrots. So now we've got 500 grams of chopped carrots going in. But can, can you see what I'm doing? Like I touched on a minute ago, protein, meat is expensive. If there's only a couple of you living in the house, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's, you don't have to bulk it out. But there's five of us in this house, and do you know what I mean? It's, if you can't afford a lot of meat for five of you, just get what meat you can and bulk it out with cheap veg. That was half a kilo. I shouldn't have touched that. That was half a kilo of carrots, that. I, mean, I think it was 35 pence. I'm going to use 20, you know, 20 odd pence worth of peas. I used what? How much were onions? I used 35p. Was all of them onions in there cost 35 pence? The bovril, which is going in now. In fact, I'm not putting the bovril in just yet. I'm going to season it up a bit. The seasoning I'm using now is I've, I already had in. Obviously, you have to go out and buy it. You have to put that in as well. Plenty of garlic. You know what I mean? You can always bulk it out with loads of loads of veg if you need to to keep the price down. And you can always season it up so it tastes good. White pepper. I've, I've opted for some white pepper. A good, a good amount of that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not putting no salt in it at this stage of the game. Because, oh, that white pepper's gone right up my freaking nostrils. Wobbly. So, yeah, I'm not putting no salt in right now because I've got a jug of salt in, in, in called Bovril. <laughs> and bacon in there as well. Yeah, that cooking bacon from Tesco's, that's only about, what, I think that's only about 90p for a kilo pack. Bargain. Right. Bovril. About a litre of bovril in there. Give it a stir. Bring it to boil. Take it down to a slight simmer. And uh, leave that till the carrots have softened. Then I'll add my peas. Then I'll maybe a bit of uh, gravy granules. Then I'll let it cool a little bit. And I'll get it in a tray ready for our potatoes. Right. We're nearly ready for the uh, potato action. But uh, I'm going to put the rest of these peas in. Because like I said, it's bulking up. Do you see how much that pan went up then? With these peas uh, soften up a bit, I might not need any gravy granules. But then again, I might just put a bit... Because I want it to be a bit thicker. Because I want the potatoes to sit on top and not sink inside, you know, the pan. Either way, it's going to be a good old-fashioned meal, this. A good old meal! Uh, and I've yet not put any salt in, but I will taste it. But then again, I'm putting gravy granules. Yeah, I'm going to put a bit of gravy granules in it. So I won't be adding any salt, I don't think. I might put a bit of salt on top of the potatoes before it goes in the oven. But uh, let that bubble away now for 10 minutes, and uh, we'll get some gravy granules in it. Let it cool down a little bit. Get it in the pan. Chop some spuds. And Bob's your uncle. Right, that has been going for, I don't know, I've, I've had that going for about 20 minutes now. And we're going to go in with some of the uh, Morrison Saver gravy granules, number 32p. And, uh, what do you say? It's about a third, about a third of it. So I'll work that out on the, uh, look how thick that's going already. I'll work that out on the, uh, the end, a third, it's about, well, about 11, 11 pence, isn't it, I suppose. Yeah, I'll call that 11 pence of gravy granules. I'll put that in my uh, pad. <laughs> We're going to get off the heat as well. We'll turn the heat off. Uh, I might just pour this straight into the, the metal tray because the metal tray is cold 
and I want this to cool down a bit. And I'll get the oven preheating while I chop the, the uh, I think said tomatoes then. There's no tomatoes going in it. <laughs> chop the potatoes, the potatoes, potatoes. You know what I mean, don't you? So, our tin is there and it's nice. It almost says it's not nice and cold. It's not been in the fridge or anything. But uh, here is our. <coughs> and. <laughs> There's more there than I thought. There's absolutely mountains there. Don't forget, right, that one portion from Sainsbury's was 90p. And there's already probably about 10 of them there. The equivalent of about 10 of them already there, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? So, we're well in anyway on price. I'm looking at this now, and it's real. this is going to be really, really cheap. Like I said, I've got absolutely no way of calculating the energy I've used from the oven. Because uh, we changed supplies from British Gas to Eon, and now my smart meter does not work. I need a new smart meter. But uh, the comments of people going, oh, bloody hell, 96p for that, and 3 million quid for fucking electric. Eh? Don't want none of that shit. I know, I know. But if you want to eat, you've got to fucking use fucking electric to cook it, haven't you? Whether it's the oven, whether it's the air fryer, whether it's a microwave, or other than that, we're all fucking building bonfires in garden, aren't we? If uh, thinking of that, actually, I'm going to go to a hardware store tomorrow and buy a burning bin. I'll do some, I'll do some, do some cooking on a burning bin. Right away, we're going to let that cool down. But in the meantime, we're going to chop some car, uh, uh, potatoes, not carrots, some potatoes, so we can lay them, lay them, lay them on top. And, I don't know, lost my train of thought. Right, let's chop some potatoes. So I bought these bag of spuds from uh, Morrison's. Most of this is Morrison's, but you know what I mean, some of it isn't. The peas were Tesco's. And the potatoes were £1.29. I'm obviously not using a full bag of potatoes. Uh, but what I need to do is I want to cut them. Uh, the ends like that, you know what I mean, so you get the straight, the ends like that, I am actually just going to throw in. I'm just going to cut it, you know, like, not as thin as the ones in the, the hot pot. Watch my fingers, watch your pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, I'll chop that up. Uh, and that's going in as well. <laughs> right, so you're looking at something like that. I'm going to carry on cutting these and I'm going to lay them on top and uh, I'll tell you how many potatoes I've used when I finish fucking around. So we're going to get these potatoes on. You saw me slice them. I sliced about just under half a bag. But I've called it half a bag. So it, it comes to 65 pence for the potatoes. And I said I might have to, I might have to slice some more yet. I don't know. I'm hoping I've got enough. Just, uh, just do this. Let's, uh, let's crack on and fast forward, shall we? I didn't need half a bag, uh, but I used them up anyway, otherwise they'd have ended up in the bin. Uh, so, uh, it's just bulked out even more. If I had to guess, God am I, I'd say that was, I'd say that was six pound in weight right now. So uh, let's get some uh, good old, uh, let's come around here, there's a big tripod in there. Some good old sea salt, on the potatoes. There we go. And uh, bang it in the oven. I'm, I'm thinking 35 minutes, 180. Should do it perfectly. That has been 35 minutes. And <laughs> this is it. Honest to God, this weighs a ton. There we go. It doesn't look as good as it did when it went in. But honest to God, it's going to taste good. 
Uh, there's quite a bit of oil on there, you can see. A bit of oil. Expected. I did use lard. Oh, God, that's good. But it's going to add to the taste, isn't it? So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, let that sit there for 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, just to let it all settle down, cool down a bit, and let it all just, you know, stop cooking. So uh, then we get a portion of this. This is going to feed six people. This would feed six people easy. And uh, But I'll tell you now, the entire process, everything, has cost four pound. Obviously, minus the electric. I have no way of measuring that, so I, I, I'm not even going to guess it. But the ingredients and everything there was four quid. Bargain. Right, let's give that 15 minutes, and uh, we're going to dish it up and get it down my gizzard. There it is, brothers and sisters. That is mine and Lou's tea. Uh, if I could pick this up. That's two big plates. It all costs four quid. There is the rest. This is going to do like six of them. Easy. So uh, I'll do the maths in a minute. But uh, it, this is, this is by the way, this is not going to be that healthy for you. Because I use lard, didn't I? And you can see there, there's quite a bit of fat. And there were, I didn't drain the fat of the mince either. But that is, that is, that is taste. Uh, I've also got, I, I do... I can't, they, they run out of Heinz. I've got some Daddy's. Daddy's brown sauce, and I'm going to put some of that on as well. You know what I mean? You've got to have some, you've got to have some brown sauce. I better not put any on those. I better find out if she wants it or not. But there it is. Homemade minced beef hot pot. Cost four pounds to make. It'll do it easy six portions. So uh, I'll work that out. But in the meantime, we're going to... Uh, I should stay down here and slide it down my gizzard. So there it is. It's a little bit oily. Uh, I should not, I probably, you know, if you don't want any oil, or you don't want any fat in it, don't use lard. I only use a tiny bit. And don't, and you might want to uh, <laughs> uh, drain the mince as well. But it's cold winter. And apparently this Saturday it's going to snow. So you need something on your, you need something in your bones, don't you? Some of really good, stodgy shit going. And uh, this costs like, it costs four quid for a lot. And there it is on my four, on my spoon. Look at that. Down me gizzard. That is ten times better, flavour wise, than the, uh, the uh, Stamford Street one. That cost 90p. Don't forget, that was 90 pence. A big piece of potato there. Ho, 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 ho. I might have to take that as a biscuit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Mm. 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 And you know what's good about that? Yeah. Is that potato has still got a little bite to it? Oh yeah. Mmm. This is not really good for your cholesterol. I'll tell you that now. But you can make adjustments to it. I mean, don't use lard. Use a higher quality mince. Obviously, doing this, it will it will, it will make the uh, it make it a little bit more expensive. But you know what? That oil there, a bit of bread and butter. Well, actually, don't have any butter on the bread for fuck's sake. There's plenty of oil in that, but that will stick to your ribs and put hairs on your chest like velvet. Lovely. So, brothers and sisters, that was my homemade minced beef hot pot. Wasn't very good for you because there was quite a bit of oil in there. But if you wanted to do this at home, you could actually 
uh, cook the mince separately, drain the fat off, uh, not use lard, use a bit, a little bit of spread, uh, fry light or something like that. And you know what? It'll still be the exact same amount of money. And it worked out at 67 pence per portion. Because I've done four, I've still, I've done four portions right now. And I've still got a massive amount left in there. So I'm, I'm going on six portions at four pound for the lot, 67 pence. I say it was 66.6p, but we don't want to tempt fate, do we? You know, like, son of the devil. Oh. <laughs> right, I've had enough. Uh, I want to sit down, eat that. Oh, by the way, daddy sauce. Not as good as eight p but fuck me. It's, it's banking daddy sauce, isn't it? That or the bacon butter. Ooh. Right, I loved it. If you like this, press like. Comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Oh, it's on me. All right, yeah. I thought I thought it was a speck of shit on me, me fucking cupboard there, but it's actually on my screen, so uh, uh, it's all right. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I've become a subscriber. Uh, what am I up to? I'll subscribe. Bah. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CTB. Listen, I lost my train of thought there, but I ain't forgot this. Fucking love you. No. Bollocks. <laughs>